Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming. One of the viewers has asked me to explain the difference between baseline flag LBPLFL as an example and also the newly added variable in SGTM IG 3.3 which is LOBXFL. Basically they wanted to understand the difference between the BLFL variable and the LOBXFL variable. So as mentioned, so LOBXFL is added newly in IG 3.3. So the conventional baseline flag is BLFL. So the variable that is used to identify the baseline record is meant to be your BLFL. So the definition of baseline for BLFL variable could be sponsor defined. So in most of the cases, we know that the value in uh, the baseline definition is last known value prior to the treatment start date. So, but there can be cases wherein there is an alternate definition which the sponsor could choose from. Something like the screening value could be considered as baseline. And if there could be multiple collections during the screening period, they may prefer to choose to populate the earliest one or the latest one or the maximum or the minimum observed during uh, screening period as baseline. So this is still allowed as per the definition of your BLFL because if you clearly see in section 4.5.9 uh, which is titled as baseline values of ISTTM IG 3.3. So if you see BLFL it says a baseline defined by the sponsor. So the variable that is used to identify the record uh, baseline record as per the definition chosen by the sponsor. So here it is more generic. But so LOBXFL is introduced for a specific purpose. So here if you see the definition for LOBXFL is last non-missing value prior to RFXSTDTC. So this definition is more narrower when compared to BLFL. So in most of the studies the definition would still be the same. Uh, the last known value prior to the treatment but as per the definition of BLFL sponsor could choose some other definition for baseline and populate your LB BLFL as an example. So here they wanted to restrict the definition of baseline and in terms of the last known value prior to RFXSTDTC. So we have this newly created variable which is LOBXFL. So BLFL definition could still be the same as your LOBXFL but as per the definition so sponsors could choose some other definition to populate BLFL but LOBXFL must be populated with the last non-missing on the record with last non-missing value prior to RFXSTDTC. So if you uh, if in your study if the definition of baseline is last non-missing value prior to RFXSTDTC so we can just populate LOBXFL and we need not populate BLFL if you are following SDTM IG 3.3. So that is the basic difference of LOBXFL and BLFL. So if we go through the detail in this section, it says the new variable LOBXFL has been introduced in this release, which is 3.3 IG. So to address the need for a consistent definition of a value that can serve as a reference with which to compare the post-treatment values. So we know that the treatment start at SDTM level is populated in the variable RFXSTDTC in your DEM. So we want to compare all the post-treatment values with the latest value before the RFXSTDTC. So this consistent definition for the purpose of having a consistent definition across studies, this new variable is being added. So this generic definition approximates the concept of baseline. So it is not saying that the best, the Baseline definition should be the last known value prior to RFXSTDTC in your study, but it is approximating to the concept of baseline and can be used to calculate post treatment changes if you only have SDTM data sets available. So reviewers can quickly go back and check the value present on the record with LOBXFL and compare it with the post treatment values to calculate the change. In domains where BLFL was expected, 
its core has been changed from expected to permissible as we have a new variable lobxfl there were some changes to the core designation of blfl so it is mentioned that in domains where blfl was expected so blfl has now been made permissible and the new variable lobxfl with a core value of expected so in the there are some domains where your baseline findings domains in which you may not have your blfl and there can be some domains so wherein your baseline flag is an expected variable so in all the places where lobxfl with a core value of expected has been added to contain the consistent definition in domains where blfl was permissible the new variable lobxfl was added with a core value of permissible so here they are also comparing lobxfl with other two which is ablfl of adam data set adam bds data sets and also the previously present blfl variable so as shown above so in, the, in this table each variable serves a specific purpose lobxfl has a specific purpose and blfl has a specific purpose and ablfl has a specific purpose in terms of adam data set the sgtm variable lobxfl and or blfl if used can be copied to adam data sets for traceability and transparency but only the adam variable ablfl would be used to signify the baseline for analysis even if you if your definition is still the same uh, in the study for baseline for analysis purposes you can still carry forward your uh, lobxfl and blfl if used into your adam data sets for traceability and you can simply assign your ablfl with the same value from lobxfl and in cases where it is differing you can rederive your ablfl with a definition which is specified in the sap for that data set and study so and ablfl will be exactly the same when the statistical analysis specifies that the baseline used for the analysis is the last known value prior to the rfx stdtc so there can be cases in there can be studies in which the definition is still the same as your lobxfl in which case so your lobxfl and ablfl in your adam will share the same values but for analysis purposes the definition can vary from data set to data set and also within a from parameter to parameter within a data set as well as per the statistical analysis requirements so so this is the more uh, you have more scope to have different uh, definitions for ablfl and when compared to blfl than your lobxfl so wherever you are creating lobxfl it must be your last known last non missing value prior to rfx stdtc it is the most stringent uh, it is having the most stringent definition so hope this is helpful thank you for watching and keep learning